Uh, my name is Olivier Guéris. I'm a French citizen. I left France 20 years ago. And uh, during that time, I've lived in, in Australia, in Canada, in the US, the UK, Qatar. And uh, I've now been in uh, Kazakhstan for three years. We're in Astana, where I work for the uh, newly created financial center. Well, I had been in Qatar for almost eight years, and uh, I thought it was about time to move on. And I've always been attracted to Central Asia, I mean, the whole like um, Silk Road mytholo mytho mythology. And um, so I just, you know, got in touch with uh, my professional contacts uh, to make introductions uh, with uh, the people in Kazakhstan. And uh, after six months or so, here I was. Well, for me, it's a bit of a particular situation because the official language of the financial center is the is English. So there's no barrier, uh, la uh, language barrier. Uh, and also, I'm very fortunate uh, as a result that I get to work with uh, some very bright individuals um, in their late 20s who've all uh, studied um, as part of the Bolashak program in the, some of the best universities in uh, Europe, the US and Australia. And um, I feel very humble because they're much brighter than uh, I were at the same age. Well, obviously, the lingo. I mean, even though I, I guess I speak English at work every day, but as soon as I um, walk out the door, it's uh, it's only Ruski, even though it's improved a bit over the past three years. And my Rus Ruski has improved it uh, as well. But um, in, in the early days, it was quite hard to just to get understood for basic stuff like uh, buying groceries, uh, getting a, a cab or that sort of stuff. Well, being French, uh, you might understand that I'm not necessarily very fond of um, Kazakh food. That said, I discovered uh, something called Grishka. Grishka in English is called buckwheat. And in France, we only use buckwheat to make a flour. And I've discovered that actually you can eat it as a, as a vegetable, as a sort of lentils, and I love lentils as well. So um, come, the, comes the winter, I always make sure that uh, I have Grishka with pretty much uh, each and every one of my... Uh, uh, of my meals, and it's just cooked just like lentils. I mean, there's no big secret to it, but it's a, it's a hearty, warming food, and um, I really like it. Well, that's exactly what I was going to mention is weddings. I mean, I've been to, to a couple of weddings, and they're like massive extravaganzas with uh, food galore and, and lots and lots of vodka left, right, and center. So they're, they're, they're absolutely great occasions to, to meet people and uh, to have a lot of fun. And um, I can't wait to get to the next one. Well, I struggle enough with my Ruski, so I can only say Kap Ahmed, which means uh, thank you very much. Well, the positive, it's a, it's a massive uh, melting pot because uh, there's a um, there's very few Western expats, but uh, Kazakhstan itself is a mosaic of uh, different uh, ethnic groups and um, and cultures. So um, for that, it's really a positive. Uh, the negative is uh, well, uh, the winter. Obviously, it's uh, it's not that warm, especially coming from Qatar. And um, but you get used to anything after a while. Come in the summer. Venez sans préjugés et vous serez positivement subjugués.